flowers inside a bubble? Hmm, interesting. Artists, pay close attention to the dotting tool I'm using because at the end of this video, I will tell you why you need to pay close attention to this specific tool. <laughs> hey, welcome! In this video, I won't tell you guys how to make this candy ball. I am actually going to tell you how not to make it because the truth is this bubble isn't really that difficult to make, but I didn't really have a great experience doing so. Okay, so I started out by dipping the tip of my tool in builder gel and then cured it under the lamp for a few seconds. Once it came out, I dipped it in the acrylic powder and well, I saw that the original one looked kind of greenish in the middle, but I thought to myself, if it's the center of the rose, it should be yellow, right? And since I didn't have any tiny beads that they used for the original one, well, I went for the acrylic. Colored matte acrylic. Okay, so um, I cured it under the lamp and then little by little, I went on shaping the petals using pink painting gel. Okay, so on the internet I saw that you could apply a coat of finishing gel after the builder gel, but I decided not to do it. The truth is that I saw the picture and based on that, I decided to experiment a little. <laughs> so, right here, with a regular paintbrush I used to freehand paint, I am shaping the small petals. So, all around the ball, I paint the petals and then under the lamp it goes. So up to here, everything seems perfect, right? I was really excited thinking it's gonna come out great, I'm going to rock this and wait till the end. <laughs> so okay, looking good so far, right? So we gotta even it out a bit, give the dotting tool a few twirls so that the gel doesn't settle only on one side and we have a nice round ball. All set, so once again, we draw the petals on with our painting gel. Oh, and by the way, I am amazed by all the beautiful things that you can do. I mean, like you can combine colors and you can even bubble up whatever you want, like beads, confetti, or any other decorations. You can really just use about anything and the end result will be gorgeous. And, this, and these bubbly balls are really super easy to make. I mean, okay, so I didn't do so well the first time, but I finally got the gist of it. Oh, and I have a surprise for you. No, but you guys keep watching the video, okay? So just while we chat. <laughs> so here, I'm adding a new coat of gel, then we paint more petals, more gel, and so on. So anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to make a beautiful nail art using this technique, but you know how I like to make things edgy and extreme. I love spicing it up a little, so just wait for it. It's coming soon and send some good vibes my way so that my experiment comes out as planned. And I also wanted to thank everyone who has been tagging me with the recreated Laura Tagli hashtag. Remember that the challenge with the most votes will be the one I'll go for and recreate. And if you get to make this candy ball, don't forget to share it with me on the Facebook group page creatistas.com where you'll find everything about nails just nails 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 all right look here i got my oh my god it's beautiful it did come out well i was super happy at this point look how pretty nice and shiny you can see the you can see the inside and everything absolutely wonderful okay ready here's where my epic fail starts so I decided to clean the gooeyness from around the ball since it's builder gel. You know how it comes out gooey sometimes? So I wiped it off and my candy ball suddenly turned dull, but I thought to myself, no biggie, I'll just coat it with the all-in-one gel and... Uh-oh, <laughs> it wouldn't come off my tool! So I came to the conclusion that I shouldn't be using a donning tool. It should actually be a needle point one to make everything easier. So it took me an awful lot of time to get it out of the bubble. I broke off the tip of my tool. <laughs> Jeez, I was actually going nuts. And the truth is that I actually did get a bit sad because I genuinely thought I had achieved my goal. And no, sir, epic fail. I had to start over again. So at the very end, I had to use the buffing machine to wear the gel off and finally detach the candy wall. And of course, my tool is no longer usable. And so here it is. Oh no. Mm. First attempt. You suck. Failed. But that nail art I have prepared for you guys is something you cannot miss. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.